I previously made a video in which I said that I had quit using VS Code in favor of Cursor AI, an AI-powered code editor, but today I may have just changed my mind. This is ZenCoder, an AI coding agent that integrates directly into VS Code and many other code editors. And in this video, I wanted to quickly show you how it works, why it is so powerful that it has actually made me go back from Cursor AI to VS Code and how to build a simple app using ZenCoder very quickly and easily. By the way, this video is sponsored by ZenCoder, but I do think that the tool is awesome and I am personally using it right now to code my startup. So first things first, to install ZenCoder, what you need to go to is zencoder.ai. And over here, you can click on get started now. And after you create an account, you're gonna reach a page like this, where you can choose the IDE that you use. I'm just gonna use VS Code for this example. I'm gonna click on open code editor. It's gonna open VS Code for me, and then it's gonna open the ZenCoder extension, which I'm gonna install by simply clicking on install over here. And once it is installed, you're gonna be able to see it on the left-hand side of your VS Code window. And if you didn't yet, you can sign up or sign into the account that you just created. Of that, I can now return to my VS Code and it's gonna show me this chat window on the left hand side. And I can start talking to it and say hello. And this is essentially now like a ChatGPT or like an AI chat window that I can use directly within VS Code. And just to show you the basics of how this works, I've opened up this test folder over here. And now what I usually like to do is that you should usually see your files over here on the left. I like to move that over to the right so I can have my files on the right and then my ZenCoder window on the left at the same time. So just to get started, I can, for example, tell it, can you build me a HTML page for a to-do application? Now it's gonna think for a second and it's gonna analyze and refine some context and then it's gonna generate this file for me. Then I can just make this file over here and can call it index html and then all i have to do is click on paste and it's going to paste this file for me i'm going to see what it looks like and we're going to open up a new terminal and click open index.html and it's going to open this on my browser over here now to start improving on this file what you should do is go to your chat history Go and make a new chat. And before you start chatting, what I like to do is click on this button over here, coding agent, which is in beta. It says here, it uses advanced AI workflows to perform common development tasks, such as bug fixing, refactoring, or new feature development, recommended for complex queries. What this will allow you to do is for ZenCoder to understand the context of the files that you already have open and edit the files rather than just creating new ones. So I'm gonna click on that. And then what I can do is, for example, create a heading to the top of the page. And it's going to have the current file index.html as context that it can now edit. And now we can see that it's editing the file. And now at the bottom, it has made it edit. And to see the edits, I can click on show div. So it's going to show me this viewer with the old file on the left and the new file on the right. And then if I'm happy with the changes, I can just click on accept or command enter. And now after I save, it's gonna be applied to this file. And once I open it, the changes are now here. Now, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, but then I can iteratively keep telling ZenCoder to improve things. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna show you how to build a simple application from start to finish using ZenCoder, including all of the features that we have available. Before that, why would you use ZenCoder over other coding assistants? Because obviously there's many of them available. And specifically, why do I like this over Cursor AI, which is a code editor where the whole point is that you have this kind of AI chat window integrated directly into the editor. Well, firstly, I really like that ZenCoder integrates directly into VS Code. So Cursor AI is essentially a new editor, so an entirely different code editor that is based on VS Code, and it essentially has all of the same features as VS Code. But like I mentioned in my previous video, what I don't like about it is that at times it is more clunky than VS Code. It sometimes doesn't work properly, and it can be more cumbersome to use because it is a new editor. It's not as refined. It's not as smooth as VS Code. So ideally, what I would like is to have the same AI functionality of Cursor AI, but just have that directly inside of VS Code, which is a better editor. And with ZenCoder, I get that. 
So then why would I use Zencoder over other coding assistants that also integrate into VS Code? But with Zencoder, what you have is what they call advanced AI agents that essentially iteratively refine and repair the code that you have. So it goes beyond just the basic code snippet suggestions that you might have with tools like GitHub Codepilot or Reply that can be quite simple. And what I like about Zencoder is that it truly understands your code base. It understands the file, it understands like the whole context of your project so you can generate code so much more effectively. And it really understands not just your repository, but also how to apply good software engineering principles. The way I like to think about it is that it's more like an assistant to my workflow rather than just a tool, like it actually understands how to write software. And it also improves itself over time. So Zencoder will automatically detect issues in your code and improve upon them without you explicitly having to tell it to. And this really allows me as the human developer to focus on the high level decisions of deciding how to code things, deciding what to code, and then just use this coding assistant as the junior developer that actually executes on my vision. So now just to make this practical, I'm gonna show you how I would build a very simple application from scratch using Zen Coder integrated with VS Code. So I already showed you how to use this basic chat window over here. What you also wanna remember to do is talk this coding agent on so you can use these coding agents to like edit your code and things like that but the other feature that you're gonna have is just within this code file over here it can generate code for you automatically so let's say I go here and I want to make some code it's already gonna suggest to me some code that I might want to add like this title over here and I can accept it by clicking on tab like that or for this code I can accept word where what it will do is it will start to generate it like every time I click it or I can go on command and right arrow so if I just want to accept some of this but let's say I want to end this here and then I want to do something else like a p tag or something like that and I don't have to accept the entire suggestion. So that's the second way to use Zencoder to generate code. The third way outside of using the chat window or this code suggestion is to generate code is by again being just inside of the file and clicking on shift option enter and it's gonna open this window where I can give it a natural language prompt to generate some code in this particular part of the application. So for example, tell it, make a navigation bar to the top, and then it's gonna go over here and generate the suggestion for me. And again, it's gonna open this diff view where I can look at it, and I'm just gonna accept and save. And now we can see that we have this nav bar right here at the top. If I can go and open this file, we can now see that this nav bar is right here at the top. And I actually don't want this one because this is now kind of a duplicate. So I'm going to delete that. So now what I want to tell it to do is actually create these about and contact pages. So I'm going to go again to the chat window. So the chat window is generally good if you want to generate full files. So like a lot of changes into a file or multiple files. Whereas if you want to just insert a small code snippet, then I would use that code generating feature that I just showed you. So I'm going to tell it make an about page HTML and a contact page. It's going to explain to me what it's done. And now it has created these two new files and it has also even modified my current file. And I'm going to click accept and now he has created my new file for me. And that is now being put inside of my project. I'm going to do the same for about. I'm going to accept. It will now appear again inside of my file editor. And for my index, let's see what he has done here. So it has even automatically without me asking for it added links to the correct pages inside of my nav bar over here so that is pretty cool this is where you can see these intelligent coding agents really working i didn't have to explicitly tell you to do this but he understood the context he understood what i was trying to do and he automatically added these links right here so i can click on accept now again i'm going to open up this file and when i click on here it should open about it should open contact when I click here and home over here. That is pretty, pretty cool. And now to actually make this work, actually it already has the JavaScript here as well. So let's see if it works plus one add and it appears over here. looks like I cannot delete this task though. So I'm now going to tell Zencoder to add the ability to delete tasks. And again, it's going to work on the request. It's going to look at the repository, look at the files, understand what to do. So we have our modified file. Let's click on show diff. 
let's review this. So now I'm just being like a senior engineer. I'm reviewing the work of my junior engineer. Uh, looks like it's added some CSS styling. It's added some stuff over here. Okay, I'm just gonna accept and reload the file. Okay, I'm gonna ask at task one. And now we have a delete button. Let's see if it works. And it works just like that. And by the way, there's many other things that you can do with it. Within VS Code, you can access all of the commands that you have available to you with Zencoder by going to the command palette with Shift, Command, and P. And then just typing in Zencoder, it's going to show you all of these commands. Or over here, you can look at settings, models, instructions for AI. For example, you can click on add doc comments and it's going to generate doc strings for me. And it's even going to give me three different options for me right here. So I'm going to accept this one and it just adds me this doc string over here. Now, this is something that especially when your project becomes bigger, like my startup that I'm building is now becoming, these are the kinds of things that you're just going to want to have to make the code easier to understand. But as a developer, like I can admit, I don't want to spend my time writing these. So you can just get AI to do it for you. For example, over here, let's say also this script. I want to create a doc string for this. When I can go command palette, add doc comments, it's gonna generate, 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 and give me three options. Let's say this one looks good, and I'm gonna accept it, and it's gonna add me comments just right here. Super cool tool. Again, thank you for Zencoder for sponsoring this video. And you can get started with Zencoder for completely free using the link down below in the description, the first link down below in the description. With that said, if you wanna see my original video on why I originally left VS Code for Cursor AI, you can watch this video right here. And with that, I will see you in the next one.